In this video, I am going to explain to you the concepts of cost price, selling price, profit, and loss. All these concepts are interrelated and uh, you know now what happens is that let's say you have a dealer he sells cricket bats okay now normally the dealer goes to the manufacturer and he buys dealer buys from the manufacturer these bats manufacturer is a person who actually makes bat so suppose the dealer bought a bat from the manufacturer and the dealer paid 500 to the manufacturer now once he got this bat he incurred certain expenses on this bat the expenses could be like suppose the manufacturer was based out of delhi and the dealer was based out of dehradun he would have incurred certain expenses let's say the transport expenses packing expenses maybe some kind of repairs etc let's say he incurred 50 rupees on this okay once he got it into his shop in dehradun shop ram came in and he bought this bat from him for 650 so ram paid 650 to get this cricket bat Okay, now why am I explaining this chain to you? Because this is the way a normal transaction, a purchase sale transaction works. Now, the concept of cost and selling price and profit and loss are more from the perspective of the dealer. I mean, in this particular example, I mean, it could be for anyone else as well. But in this example, the concept of cost selling price profit and loss is from a perspective of dealer now the price the price at which the dealer bought it the price at he which he bought is equal to 500 this is called the cost price or the purchase price So I bought this bat from the manufacturer for 500. So this is my cost price or my purchase price. These are definitely the expenses. And this, the price at which he sold, from a dealer's perspective, he has sold this bat to Ram, is called the selling price. Now think from uh, for a moment. How much did I pay in all to get this bat? I paid 500 to the dealer and I incurred a cost of 50. So 550 was my cost and I sold this for 650. So what happened in the process is that I made an income of 100 rupees. How? I have paid 550 and I received 650. So whenever you receive more, than what you have paid it is said that you have got a profit so i paid 550 i got 650 so i gained 100 rupees so this gain is called the profit and is normally calculated as the difference between the selling price 
less the cost. Now, cost basically we come, will comprise of your cost price plus your overheads. So, selling price was 650 minus 500, which is the cost price, minus 50. You could have done it like this. So, 650 minus 550, 100. So, this is basically your profit. Now, if instead of 650, you know, Ram would have paid, let's say, 500 for this pack. So I actually, the dealer paid 550, but he received only 500. So he has effectively paid 50 rupees more. This is the loss. And loss is normally incurred when the cost price or the cost is greater than the selling price. So therefore loss is calculated as cost price minus selling price. The cost price comprises of cost plus overheads. So, just to recapitulate, cost price is the price at which I buy a particular item, I buy a particular item plus the expenses that I incur. Selling price is what I receive from the buyer of my goods. Now, this can be more or this can be less right if i get if i earn more if i earn more i am said to be into profits whereas if i earn less i am incurring losses profit is calculated as selling price minus cost price whereas the loss is calculated as cost price minus selling price because cost price is the bigger item there.